Blaze and Hooker, our motto is working together build strong community. We represent an Indian style of culture that has no individualism. Rather, it is a communitarianism community. That is when people work for the team and not themselves. This is because in India you are born into your position, so you do not gain much through personal achievement. Religion is also widely practiced in India, and Hinduism takes up about 81% of that market. Therefore, we must recognize important holidays like Republic Day, Independence Day, and Mahatma Gandhi's birthday. My company relates to the analogy of the Lexus and the Olive Tree in multiple ways. We have set up facilities in India in order to cultivate, process, and export tobacco products to the United States. We offer unique flavors, and our tobacco is some of the healthiest in the world, giving us an advantage. Tobacco production has been happening in India for a very long time. We do not want to come take jobs and buy out farms, rather we would like to partner with experienced farmers. It is important to stress their family, heritage, and culture will not be compromised. Since we handpicked our farms, we will not have to tell the farmers to grow different flavors or types of tobaccos than they want to. This will make the farmers more acceptable to working with a foreign company. We have had to blend our Indian culture to fit into American society. First, all of our locations are within 15 miles of a college campus or in a Middle Eastern community. We have found these areas to be the most successful. Our hookah bar promotes a new way to smoke traditional shisha. We offer molasses or honey-based shisha, blend real fruits that add a sweet flavor, allow patrons to filter the smoke through water, juice, or milk, and numerous other options to make the experience more enjoyable. As a franchise, we must adapt to the U.S. hookah market in order to become successful. That includes choosing the correct locations, offering the most desired tobaccos, and creating a unique experience for every region. In India, we must adapt and bring change. First, we must adapt to their culture and understand their way of hierarchy. Next, there is a great need to improve infrastructure. In order to do this, the power, urbanization, shipping, freight transportation, and more must be improved. India is the second largest tobacco market in the world, right behind Brazil. 25% of India's cultivated land is used for tobacco production. There are 96,865 registered farmers throughout India, and many more who are not registered. The tobacco industry supports 36 million Indians, which include 6 million farmers, 20 million farm workers, and 10 million workers processing, manufacturing, and exporting in India. Today, India has one of the fastest growing economies in the world. They also are predicted to be the third largest economy by 2050, but it wasn't always like that. In the early 1990s, India nearly went bankrupt and had to go through big policy changes that led them out of the Indian market and into the global market. This economic reform is known as the Economic Liberalization of 1991. The main objective was to make India the fastest developing economy in the globe. The reform led to deregulation measures, reducing government control, allowing foreign capital in, foreign investments, foreign technology agreements, tax reforms, beginning of privatization, and opportunities for overseas trade. The global reaction to this change was very positive. Overseas investments rose from 132 million in 1992 to 5.3 billion in 1996. Relations have turned into a global strategic partnership due to shared democratic values and similar interests on bilateral, regional, and global issues. The partnership is very broad and multi-sectoral, ranging from trade and investment, defense and security, education, science and technology, cybersecurity, high technology, civil nuclear energy, space technology, clean energy, environment, agriculture, and health. U.S. bilateral trade increased from $19 billion in 2000 to $95 billion in 2013. U.S. also invested over $28 billion into India, which supports half a million jobs there. A lot of the investments made to India are to improve the infrastructure and modernize the country. These investments allow India to keep up with their rapid growth by the development of U.S. technologies to meet India's infrastructure needs, which include power, urbanization, shipping, freight transportation, and other areas.
the U.S. plans to bring access to clean water, hygiene, and sanitation in 500 Indian cities. One of the most important reasons we chose to source our tobacco from India is because they produce some of the healthiest tobacco in the world. Through India's seven tobacco research centers, they have been able to produce tobacco with lower levels of heavy metals, TSNAs, and pesticide residues compared to other tobacco producing countries. Cantor is obviously a concern with any smoking product, but we do all we can to limit the concerns while still providing quality tobacco. In order to be socially responsible, our company plans to give back a percentage of the profits to the farm who grew each crop. This will increase farmers' happiness to work with us and even give them incentive to work harder to produce quality tobacco. We will also spend a lot of money to meet India's infrastructure needs and modernize this country.